What's up, everybody? Welcome to a brand new series. That's right, guys. We're playing something new. This is Enigmatica 2 Expert. Yep. I've been recommended this mod pack by a lot of people in the previous comments. I've been recommended this pack by a lot of people on Twitch. For those of you who don't know, I do live stream on Twitch, currently streaming the uh, Project Ozone 3 closed beta. Yep, that's an up and coming mod pack. But anyway, uh, so we're checking out this here on YouTube. And yeah, it's an overworld mod pack, but I believe you can play it in a skyblock setting. But yeah, we're playing it in an overworld variation. Uh, so this mod pack does have a lot of quests in it. Let's check some of these out here. So you can see there's a lot of different sections, bragging rights. There's some blood magic in here, mechanism, astral sorcery, thomcraft. So yeah, we got lots of good stuff going on here. So getting started, let's take a look at this. Uh, welcome. Welcome to Enigm Enigmatica 2 Expert. This mod pack is designed to challenge the player through various means, especially harder recipes. I advise that you automate crafting of as much as possible, as early as possible. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. Uh, things are going to get complicated. Check the checkbox to get your starter kit. I suggest you make a backpack out of the tanned leather and wooden frame. Okay, well, we can do that. Uh, so we have... Leather, yeah, wooden frame, a tan leather, sure. Click the checkbox, let's do it. We'll claim it, and we'll click back. So that unlocks the ability for us to know that we have vein miner. <laughs> you may have discovered that planks are a little harder to come by than usual. Um, to make up for it, you can harvest multiple logs with ore excavation by holding down the grave key or by default, this works for all blocks. The appropriate tool is meant to be a required to use is meant to be required to use ore excavation, but isn't due to a bug. Interesting. Okay. So it wants us to get 16 logs and we can do that by holding down the vein miner. Let's try that. If we hold, wait, <laughs> is it the button was. Grave key, right? Let's take a look at this. Uh, excavate backslash. Well, this says his backs. Okay, hold on. We're going to do a little bit of stuff here. So I'm going to switch this to grave because that's where I expect it to be. And then questing. Uh, I'm going to set this to Z. Okay, that'll help me out a little bit here. So I could open that with that and then grave to vein mine. Now it said that, oh, okay, I thought I was saying that we needed the uh, the appropriate tool to vein mine. But anyway, uh, so we were able to get all those logs quite quickly. It looks like auto jump is on. That's another thing that we need to get out of here. That's on by default, apparently. All right. Man, that tree like dropped literally all of the saplings. Goodness. We get a little bit of apple here. So that's some food, I suppose. All right. Very good. So we, what do we end up with? Uh, we got 34 saplings, 46 wood. So I want us to make a backpack with this, right? Let's take a look at this back. Oh, let me turn off caps lock backpack. So it said it wanted us to make one of these. Yeah, 810 leather and an iron frame. Or maybe this is the wrong one, but I think it's probably going to be crafted the same way. It's a wooden frame. Let's try doing a crafting table here and making one of those. Okay, so we only get two planks per log. It's interesting. All right, so that goes here. And of course, this gets wrapped around its small backpack. All right, so if we do that, okay, so it's an extra two rows of inventory. That's not bad. Let's take this guy with us. I don't know like where we're going to set up our base or anything like that. Let's go back to the quest here. Maybe something will uh, inspire us what we need to do. So this is done. We get four chests. That's nice. Uh, scanning. There's a slight chance per chunk that a super ore vein generates. There are six different kinds of super veins, which can be found at varying Y levels. Nuclear craft ores only spawn in super veins. Hmm. The pack has a few different items that can help you find ores, the scanner being one of them. So this does require energy, and I assume it's probably not going to be an easy recipe. Let's see what that thing costs here. 
Well, that's not that bad, but we need gold and iron and redstone and nether quartz in order to do this. So I suppose we have to go to the nether at least, plus uh, do a little bit of mining. So we can't go that way just yet. So what other quests do we have here? Harvest level zero. Vanilla pickaxes don't work. For your first pickaxe needs to be a tinker's construct pickaxe. Uh, you can make it in the part builder out of flint, paper, cactus, wood, or stone. The harvest levels of ores are custom made. These quests will show you the materials need to reach the next level. Okay. So we need to get ourselves to flint, which means we need to get ourselves. We need to punch a little gravel, which is easy. We could vein mine this, but I'm not sure if I want to like vein mine all of this. In fact, uh, the gravel that we just got, I will place down and then vein mine this. Can we do that without an item in our hand? Okay, I think we need... Whoop, that's the wrong thing. I think we need an item in our hand in order for the vein mining to work. I'm not entirely sure. Let's try with chest in my hand. Yeah, okay. So that's the deal. It has to be something in your hand for the vein mining to work. Okay, so we got one flint. Maybe if I vein mine with flint in my hand, we'll get a higher chance for flint. I don't think that works that way. <laughs> but we can at least hope that it would. <laughs> Uh, all right. Well, this this gravel is being very stingy with giving us one more piece of flint. Come on now. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. I kind of just want to vein mine the entire beach. What is that? Are those goats? Wait, what? Okay. Shiny thing. Let's go over here and take a look. Is that a goat? <laughs> I don't know if I've ever seen those in Minecraft before. Yeah, yeah, pretty much. All right, well, it's thirsty. I don't know what that means. There's water right there. I don't know why this doesn't go and take a drink itself, but anyway. So we need one more piece of flint and we are not getting it. Oh my goodness. I'm vein mining right here. There we go. Now we have literally all the flint. <laughs> I really didn't want to make a huge hole, but we ended up making a huge hole. Okay. Well, we don't have all day to try and make these things. Uh, so now that we have the flint, we got the quest complete. Let's go back into here. And we can get a steel knife blade, a cactus sword blade, or a nether rack pan. I'm probably going to go with the cactus sword blade. I'd like to have a sword. I'd like to have some kind of defense, right? Uh, steel knife blade, mm, I feel like we'll be able to make that fairly easy. Let's just get this. I mean, cactus probably isn't that big of a deal either, but there are no, at least not in my current vision, there is no deserts around, right? So cactus is probably going to be something we want. Um, I do see there's a creeper around here, and I did see that there was like a cave. It is becoming nighttime, so we probably should try and get indoors a little bit, maybe. Um, yeah, <laughs> this is one of those things, like, I'm not sure what I want to do. We need Tinker's tools. Oh, the creeper's right there. Oh, boy. There's a skeleton down there, too. Get down there. <laughs> I mean, I guess I could build a little bit of a barrier here and keep the, the guys out. But we're going to have to survive the night. Um, yeah, let's do that. Let's just put a barrier here and keep these guys away for now. All right, we should be relatively okay here. And then I'm obviously going to want to close this off so we don't get any visitors. Oh, boy. I don't want to touch the uh, the cheaty gravel here. Okay, we'll leave it right like that for now. Uh, so we need to get ourselves some stuff. <laughs> and I guess Tinkers is probably the way to do it. So let's start making some Tinkers things. Uh, we need a whole bunch of planks here. Okay, something like that should be good. Then we need some sticks. We only get two sticks per... All right, that's fine. That, this. So there's some blank patterns. Then we need to take a log plus a blank pattern to get a part builder. We need a chest plus a blank pattern to get a pattern chest. We need a plank plus a blank pattern to get one of those. And then we need a crafting table plus a blank pattern to get a tool station. All right, and then I guess we can also do another crafting table here to get ourselves, 
Well, you know what? We already have one. Let's just turn this one into the Tinker's Variation. Let's take this guy, and we will do that. So there's a crafting station. So that's all of our basic Tinker's stuff here. Uh, so let's start placing these down somewhere. So there's the crafting. Um, we're going to want a stencil table. We're going to want the pattern chest next to the part builder so it can talk to it. Part builder and tool station. All right. So there's our, our tinker stuff here. So now we can click on any one of them and get these tabs so we can see what we're doing. So now that we have all of this, let's go ahead and place our blank patterns into the stencil table here. And then we want to make a few different stencils. So let's do a pickaxe pattern. You can shift click and it goes right over here. We want one of these. We're going to want one of those, the binding, the tool rod. Uh, let's see. So we got the cactus sword blade. We're going to want to make ourselves a wide guard. And then we already have the tool rod for the rest of the sword. So I think we're mostly okay here. Now, if we want to get ourselves a shovel, we can do that. Hopefully, if that skeleton out there comes in here, we're going to be having a bad time. Uh, so shovel, head, and then axe. Okay, I think those are probably all the wins that we need for like the very start here. Um, so if we go to the part builder, we can... I don't think you can do it with... Can you do it with logs in there? I'm not entirely sure. Uh, let's try and make ourselves. Yeah, I'm not sure if we should do it that way or put in planks, actually. So we want the part builder, this. So that's a 17 wood, and if we put that in there, that says 88. Oh. 88. So this is acting like one log equals four planks, and this is acting like one plank equals one plank. Well, that's interesting. Hmm. Anyway, uh, so we want a tool rod. Uh, we want a wide guard. Okay. And then we can go over to the tool station and make ourselves this. All right. So now we have some kind of way to defend ourselves. <laughs> All right. Uh, so we need to do like the pickaxe and the shovel. Same kind of a thing. Uh, I assume we can make a flint. Pickaxe head, okay, and then we want probably a wooden handle and maybe a flint binding. I'm not exactly sure which binding we want. Maybe flint will be fine. All right, we'll put that together. All right, so we got ourselves a pickaxe. Uh, and I was going to make a manok and stuff for mining. Maybe we should just do a shovel. All right, so let's make a shovel, and then we need tool rod I think it's a binding for the shovel as well so we'll do that out of flint okay and then back to the tool station this guy like so okay so now we have some basic tinker tools here which is fine the only thing is this cactus broadsword I did select the cactus uh, but we don't have a way to repair it and it how much durability so 275 with the wooden handle on there it should like auto repair itself over time but if it breaks if we don't have cactus, we're never going to be able to repair it, right? So we got to be kind of careful about that. Okay. Well, I think we should be okay to start doing a little bit of basic mining here. Okay. We got some coal. I made the advancement. Stone Age. Man, we just did a whole lot of mining there. Uh, so now that we did that, we should be able to make ourselves some torches and actually be able to see what's going on around here. We get four torches per craft. That's good. That wasn't nerfed. Get this stuff all lit up a bit. Yeah, I think we're fine. Cool. All right. Um, Probably the next step is just to continue downwards here. We want to try and get to gold, I believe is what it said that we needed. So I'm just going to go and dig ourselves a little bit of a mine and we'll be back, guys. All right, guys. Well, I started digging down, right? And we passed some ores here, another coal vein, I left that, and then we have some amber bearing stones, some certus quartz, but all the way down here, I saw there was one iron, and I kept going, then there was another iron vein, so, oh, this stuff is not harvestable with the flint pickaxe, wait, so how are you supposed to harvest iron without 
It says tier two. It says we need Certus. Interesting. So this Certus that we saw over here is something that we need. Well, hopefully there's more than one because I didn't mine any of these. Oh, this says that we need copper. So we need to find ourselves copper. Can we see in here? If we search for copper, does it show like the level that it spawns at? Oh, it does. So we need about between 35 and 45. Okay, okay, it's a 4% chance. So where are we at? We are at 43. So like probably around level 40-ish would be okay. So I'm just going to go ahead and dig ourselves a mine here, a branch off of our, our tunnel down. Yeah, hopefully we'll be able to find copper relatively easily here. Um, pretty low chance. I haven't been seeing a whole lot of ores. We have to consider that our hunger is not getting any better <laughs> right now. We do have that one apple that we can eat. Um, and then our pickaxe is also going to be running out of durability here at some point, which means we're going to have to go back up and use some of the flint that we have gotten uh, to repair it. So there's some more Certus. That's good. Okay, we'll just keep going here just a little bit further. Hopefully we'll find some copper. And no luck. Okay, well that's the end of our pickaxe. So let's go up and repair it real quick. We'll take a look and see what time it is. There's no time on the screen here, so I don't know what the time of day. It might be nighttime still, might be daytime. Where are we at? Oh, we are at a daytime. That's awesome. Okay, so let's do the repair first. That plus... Didn't we have extra flint? Did I leave it in the thing? Maybe I left it in the part builder. Okay. Uh, tool station. So one flint. Repairs it a good portion of the way. This thing did skill up, so we are level comfortable now. Uh, so we have three modifiers that we can add to this thing. So we can put a redstone on there to make it faster or other such things. Um, but we can't quite do it now. So you just saw the durability went up one. That's because of the wooden tool rod. It slowly repairs over time. Um, but yeah, if you break it, you don't get that anymore. Can we get rid of this? Okay. So we can come back up to the surface. Um, okay. So now that we are up here, it probably would make sense to look for food. We can harvest more trees for more apples. That might be something we should do. So probably we want to find the biggest trees with the most leaves to get the highest chance for apples. I'm not seeing any other type of food around here. Uh, I don't think these are edible. Doesn't show that we can eat them. Is that a hamster? What is that? <laughs> okay, now I gotta go see. What are you? It's a hamster! What can you, can you do anything with the hamsters? Hey, little guy. Can I... Right-click, shift-right-click. I can't do anything with them. I was hoping we could pick them up. <laughs> That's funny, there's little hamsters in here. Anyway, uh, so now that we've done that distraction, um, yeah, I think all the way up here, there was like the really, really big trees. Let's see if we can take those guys out. Oh, there's a beehive next to it, so we're probably going to get stung by doing that. Uh, yeah, let's take this out here. See if we can get a few more apples, because we only have the one. I would like a lot more than that. In fact, we might even be able to make ourselves an apple tree, potentially, which could be very useful. So we have three apples. Can we do apple sapling? Aha! So apple sapling will produce apples over time. All we got to do is right click on them. I think that's what I want to do with our first few apples here. But let's see if we can get another one. Let's see if we can do this before getting stung. The bees don't like you being nearby them. Okay, so I saw a few more apples drop, which is good. So we'll have a little bit of food for the immediate future. Um, anyway, so I'm going to go ahead and collect a little bit more stuff here. We'll do a little bit more mining. Hopefully I can find that copper, and then we'll be right back, guys. All right, guys. So, yeah, I just looked up, like, right above where our base is. There's an apple tree right here. I didn't see these at all. This looks like a cherry tree. So we get some free noms around here, which is pretty good. Yeah, apple tree up there. I didn't even know that there were apple trees around in the wild. 
Uh, probably should use our shovel that we made, yeah? Alright, so let's go check this out. I didn't have to make that apple sapling earlier because we had this up here, but I guess our other one we can place in a more convenient area. That one's not quite ready to be harvested yet. Alright, I see a lot of, like, dead trees and stuff. And anything else of interest over here? What kind of a biome is this? It just says forest. Hmm. Yeah, that is kind of weird. There is some kind of a structure here, isn't there? What is that? Okay, now I kind of want to go explore. <laughs> what time is it? It's just barely noon, and we don't have a lot of food right now. Ah, I want to explore, but I want to get, like, our resources so we can do a little bit more mining and progress. Okay, we'll hold off on doing that probably until next time. I'm just going to go down and see if we can get ourselves some of that copper so we can do a little bit of progression here. Be right back, guys. So in our tunnel down here that we started mining in, uh, I came to aluminum ore, which is not harvestable. <laughs> so that was kind of like a roadblock. So I was like, all right, so we're just going to come down here and do a little bit of poke holes. So every three blocks, I'm just mining as far back as I can. We got some more aluminum here. Uh, so we got a whole bunch of nothings until we got to right here. And then we just got some copper. So I'll vein mine this. Let's grab this. How many did we end up with? Uh, six copper. That's not bad. All right, so that should be enough for us to try to do something. Uh, really, for us to upgrade to the copper parts, we're going to need to get ourselves a smeltery, though. Um, in the quest book here, does it have anything for us doing smeltery? Oh, yeah, actually it does. So, unfired clay bucket looks like it's going to get into the smeltery, and then it wants us to do these other things here. All right, so yeah, copper, and then it's getting into... I'm not sure what material that is, but yeah... So our next step is we do need to get ourselves a clay bucket. So clay, man, I keep hitting caps lock. Clay bucket is just four pe or three pieces of clay. So I don't recall seeing any clay nearby, but there was water. And usually in the water, you can find clay. So that's probably where we should start our search, I would imagine. Uh, is it still daytime? I've been doing stuff for a minute. It looks like we're probably... Running low on time here. Uh, let's see if we can find any clay real quick around. Squid. Yeah, hopefully we'll be able to find some. I hear lava too. At least I thought I did. Anyway, uh, let's see if we can get the clay. That's the most important stuff. So there's clay right here. All right, so we will... Oh, well, this botanic stuff. Let's just vein mine this. Okay. So there's a bunch of clay. We need to make ourselves a clay bucket, which we cannot do unless we have a crafting table. I see two rubber wood. That's interesting. All right, so we know I see two is in this pack for sure. Yeah, let's get over to our cave. It is becoming nighttime once again. Uh-huh. I'm going to put a block here, try and barricade ourselves in just a little bit. So clay, doot, doot, doot. So there's a clay bucket, an unfired. We should probably sit down one of these chests that we have here and drop off a good portion of all of the stuff that we don't need on us at the moment. Okay. Something like that. And sort it all. Um, what did we need? We need the quest book, most likely. Uh, the quest book usually is bound to a key, so I guess we don't need that. We rebound that to the Z key. We have a couple of pieces of food on us. And I guess coal and wood for more torches. Everything else can stay in here. Okay, so going back to the quest book, getting started here, we can do this. And it does give us a loot chest. So what do we get? Some tall, slimy grass. Hmm. Okay, well, don't think we need that. I'm not sure how useful that is even going to be in the future. I don't think that's used for anything other than decoration. Uh, so smeltery is the next thing, so it wants us to do a whole bunch of seared stuff, and in order for us to do this, we need to get ourselves clay, gravel, and sand, unless the recipes have been changed, which we'll have to take a look at. It says, to reach the next level, you will need to make a smeltery, making the Tinker's Complement early game smeltery will also complete the quest. The item requirement to complete this quest matches the blocks in the smallest possible smeltery with casting table and faucet. Remember, temporary casts can be made from liquid clay. Okay, so this wants us to make one controller, one seared 
two seared bricks, a smeltery drain, a faucet casting table, and then wants us to have two clay. Um, why is there a second one? Oh, this is the Tinker's Compliment. So we can do either or, I believe is what it said, right? So that's interesting. Um, well, we can't really mine any sand right now. It is nighttime. There's monsters everywhere. I'm scared. I just heard something explode. Why did something explode? I don't know. Uh, guys, I think we're going to go and wrap up the first episode here for today. Like, we got some good stuff going on. Uh, we were able to mine some copper. We got our Tinker's Tools going. We checked out a brand new mod pack. We got ourselves some armor, too. Uh, I think we're doing all right for, you know, the very first episode. We're going to have to figure out where we're going to set up base. That's definitely something we should do in the, in the near future. But anyway, guys, that's going to do it for today. Thank you guys for watching. Remember to leave a like on the episode if you liked it. And we'll see you next time. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye-bye.